Yeah, absolutely. You know, and one thing I kind of brought up last weekend is I kind of alluded to this being uh, an intense scrimmage. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, it's a G5 opponent, still a respectable program. You know, you don't want to come in and completely overlook an opponent. But like, you know, we said last week, I think there was an understanding of how this game was going to end up playing out. Um, and I think Dan Landing and, you know, as well as Tosh and the rest of the coordinators, they kind of understood what they wanted to come in and work on this week or excuse me, the previous week. But, uh, you know, it's coming off a victory from Hawaii. You know, obviously it was a big win. Um, it's real easy to kind of sit here and say, oh, you know, X, Y, Z went well because things did go well in all phases of the game. But Ben, what's one thing that you saw this weekend that you would like to see either improved, changed altogether? Um, yeah. Like sticking offensively? Yep, just offensively for now. Uh I, I know, I, again, I think we touched upon it a little bit, and I know Lanning did in his post game, and then this week, um, the deep shots. There, there's something a little bit off on them, whether it's timing, schematically, or coaching-wise. Something's a little bit off where every throw is like two, three feet in front of the receiver for some reason. I'm going to mm-hmm. guess that their timing is off, so he's expecting the receiver to be a little further. And that's happened multiple times this year. Um, so I'm hoping they can – they said they did work on that in practice this week. They worked on those deep shots to try to clean that up and get them more in sync. Mm-hmm. So – because you just think you hit a few of those deep shots, the score is exponentially even different. So those are big. If they can clean that even up, um, just from the Hawaii game, I'd like to see that cleaned up. Absolutely. I think that's kind of a good point. You know, these are all things that are obviously going to play a big factor going forward. You know, the explosive plays, that's kind of, you know, one of the takeaways is kind of how you kind of deflate the air out of the other team. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, that's and then with Bo and the caliber receiver we have on the outside, the wide receiver room being pretty deep, there's a whole lot of speed and size there. So, you know, like you said, you kind of want to be able to stretch the field and make some of those things work. Um, but yeah, overall, I agree with both of you guys. I think the offense looked fine overall. I would like to see some more of those explosive plays, take a couple more of those little shots, just because you kind of have, you know, it's not often you have a caliber of quarterback like Bo has been playing the past two years. And then our wide receiver room, I would argue this is the deepest and most talented room since we've had since 2014, you know, our little natty championship, uh, failure with Ohio state that year, um, but I would say this room right now would kind of rival that room that we saw a couple of years ago um, that was so successful. But uh, kind of switching gears here, um, you know, everybody being an Oregon fan likes to talk defense just because we know for the past couple of years that's been something that's been um, hit and miss and a lot more miss than hit from time to time. Well, um, you know, this weekend, obviously, we were able to take care of business with Hawaii. Um, you know, their quarterback, that man was number three in the country in pass yards. We were able to shut him down. I think he had 131 yards when all said and done this weekend. Um, so overall, you know, the defense looked great, but I'm going to bring it right back again and say, you know, we saw improvement from Texas Tech, but what is something that we would like to see continue to improve um, on the defensive side of the ball? And I'll leave that up to either Spaz or Ben. Well, I think defensively we've got to – one, we got to continue to get better on, on, in the secondary. And two, we got to continue to get um, better with uh, penalties. We just got to, we got to be better disciplined to football. Absolutely. 100%. You know, and obviously discipline, that's something we're going to get to um, after we get done talking about the defense here. But yeah, 100% discipline is that's something we have not been seeing the previous two weeks, especially coming off that opening game against Portland State. I believe we had two penalties combined and they were both kind of in garbage time. You know, third threes and fours kind of committing some of these penalties in the past two weeks. It's like we're seeing a whole different team in terms of discipline. Um, But yeah, I'll open that same question back up to you, Ben. Aside from penalties, you know, that's obviously something we know we're struggling with on both sides of the ball at this moment. But strictly defensively, what is something this weekend that you would like to see continue to improve, you know, building off of that Hawaii dub? Yeah, it's uh, it's the same thing. The the secondary just 
getting tighter coverage, getting better, not making dumb mistakes, not losing, you know, no bone coverages. Because now we're going to get into the bulk of the schedule now, starting with Colorado, where you're going to start seeing these much better receivers than they have seen. But I think a lot of that for the coverage will start with pressure. And I don't know exactly how much we've seen in the sense of blitz packages or exotic looks from the defensive, the D-line specifically, let alone linebackers really blitzing that much. I don't know how much we've really seen. Maybe we're in for a wild ride where all of a sudden it's like, holy crap. You know, there was nothing to worry about, but it starts with pressure up front. Mm -hmm. Because that allows the secondary to not have to cover as long, so I'm kind of saying secondary, but the pressure or pressure up front's got to it's got to step up, hopefully a little bit. Yeah, you know, I I would 100% agree. You know, last last weekend talking, you know, prior to Hawaii and at Texas Tech in Lubbock, you know, we're gonna walk with four sacks. This previous weekend we had two more. So I think, you know, what we're, we are seeing happen is I think we're starting to see a little bit more consistency in that defensive line, you know, getting to the backfield, um, not necessarily, you know, coming up with a big sack and at all, but kind of how you alluded to just now, I think more importantly than strictly sack numbers is the pressure that you're applying. Um, you know, we, as we've seen with our quarterbacks in any game that we played, and we know that when the quarterback's pressured, we tend to see more turnovers. We see error and throws, bad decisions, you know, just match timing um but yeah i completely agree 